Hi Taurus, so let's do your December love reading. Um, I'll put your Christmas tree lights on first before I start. I don't think it'll last for long though because the batteries are running quite low. Right, um, yeah, back to your reading. If anything confuses you about these reads or about how I read, then please check out the description box below and my pinned comment below. If you're a cross watcher that is watching for a Taurus, then you can switch over the roles, okay? And please keep in mind that this is general. It's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. Everyone's got their own story. Not everything's going to fit your specific situation, right? So basically keep an open mind. And if it's not your read, just leave it. Just leave it be. It doesn't matter. Right. Okay, Taurus. So your first card out is the heart chakra. You then have lead, which is the emperor. So potentially Aries energy or divine masculine energy. You then have well-deserved reward, which is the nine of coins. That's beautiful. It's uh, Venus in Virgo energy with the nine of coins. Okay, right. Spread your wings. The two of wands. It's Aries energy. Heal, the star. Aquarian energy, dreams coming true, nine of cups, Pisces energy, awaiting results, the seven of coins, Taurus energy, Saturn in Taurus for that one, darkest fears, the nine of swords, Gemini energy. Why does Gemini get all of the, the dark cards? You know, they've got the nine, the, the, the nine of swords and the, the ten of swords. It's like, wow, why? Okay, third eye chakra. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have Choose Your Battles, the Seven of Wands. Uh, can I remember the Seven of Wands? No. Is it Leo? I think it's Mars in Leo for the Seven of Wands. Right. Anyway, choose your battles wisely. This is understanding when to speak up and when to remain silent, okay? It's having enough wisdom to understand when you're fighting a battle that cannot be won. And it's funny that I said about speaking up because hidden underneath that one is the throat chakra, which is all about speech, communication, all right? Um, I don't really like this combination because it it just feels really restrictive, all right? It, it's like either someone's basically telling you to shut up or they're, they're just completely ignoring you and you, you're wanting to ask why, okay? Th th there's absolutely some kind of argument here that's taking place, all right? Be careful at this point in time, Taurus, about how much you say. All right, throat chakra and choose your battles. Um, not every thought needs to come out. All right. Um, but, I mean, you, you could journal. Journaling would be a really good idea. It would be very advantageous for you to journal. So that you can see then, you can see exactly which of these thoughts is going to benefit you once they have been spoken? Okay. Card that's central to your read is heal with the star energy. And I'm looking at this in this direction. Heart chakra, star, third eye chakra. Heart chakra basically speaks for itself, right? It's all about your feelings, your freedom to feel. Your third eye chakra, which is the sixth chakra, and that is all about uh, your intuition and it can be blocked by illusion. OK, reaching higher levels of consciousness. So. There's an experience that's playing out in the Shreed Taurus and your wisdom is coming through on how to utilize this experience. You're absolutely trying to process something here, right? I, I don't know exactly what it is, 
but the energy is really, really difficult. Really difficult. Very frustrating as well for some of you. So, see, I, I don't want to come across like I'm being offensive. I'm not very good with my words, so sometimes I can end up saying something and it's it's just too blunt and it sounds like I'm being ignorant and really, really offensive when that's not the intent at all. So do you remember when I said that not everything that goes on in your head needs to come out of the mouth, right? It does pertain to that, all right? There's something that um, while I do advocate 100% you speaking your truth, right? I advocate that until the cows come home. This particular situation that, that you're dealing with right now, you need to be super, super careful about what it is that you say. Because there's something that you say that could potentially see you landing back either in trouble or going back to square one. All right. So that, that's where I said about like journaling, writing down your ideas, the things that are going on in your mind and figuring out what you're going to say bef before you say it. Um, once that has been mastered, and I want to use the word tactic, I don't know why, but once that tactic has been mastered, then you'll be able to win a lot more than lose. So I think what I'm trying to say with this one is really evaluate who it is that, that you're trying to uh, get your point across with at this point in time. Evaluate as to whether or not they are intelligent enough to understand where it is that you're coming from. Are they uh, open-minded enough to take on someone else's perspective. If not, then there's no point in you sitting, wasting your time, your energy and your oxygen arguing with them. All right. That's what's going on in this read. And it, it's a skill. It is a skill. And, and once this skill has been mastered, oh, I can't pick up the card. Oh no. Yeah, once this scale, once this skill has been mastered, um, you're going to be shooting for the stars, like literally. Okay, it's people skills basically that that's coming out in this read. People skills, definitely. Um, right, we have got as well. You have been dealing with an individual romantically where you're unsure about what is fully going on with them okay because they're they're very um it's like they're giving you mixed signals when, when it comes to love some someone's giving you very mixed signals right and it's like you're trying to figure out whether or not you're being paranoid I don't feel that this is in regards to anybody who is in a long-term situation. I feel that this is very specifically, that the, the love message that's coming through is very specifically for someone who is getting to know another. It's like one minute you get this inspiration to take the lead, to take action, and then something happens that, that knocks you back a bit and then you change your mind. Or this could be them that, that's doing it to you, right? It's a very confusing energy because it's very given with one hand and then taken away with the other. You know, it, it, it definitely does have that vibe to it. So we need to start clarifying. This is well deserved reward, please, for Taurus. It's well deserved reward for Taurus, please. Thank you. Victory. Wow. Okay. Achieving your goals. Um 
there, there's again there's a thought process that goes behind this Taurus this thought process is going to help you exponentially with whatever it is that, that you're trying to achieve business or pleasure your mind right now I mean your mind is a really powerful tool anyway but for some reason it's really coming to the forefront of this particular read so your mind right now um, is an incredibly powerful tool you've got hostilities under there again it's see see what I mean with the giving with one hand and taking away with the other it's weird what's this spread your wings about please for Taurus thank you storm warning removing yourself from situations that are not serving your highest good okay that there's something brewing here Taurus something's brewing um your your intuition as well is very much on point at this time like you you feel that someone's keeping something away from you that they've got like a something up their sleeve that they, you know they've got something up their sleeve but you don't fully know what it is it's bizarre I'm feeling that you're leaving a situation as well Taurus you're leaving a situation and it's going to cause a storm trouble chaos for, for someone else you need to give yourself permission to heal and process everything that you've been through as well you, you need to give you, yourself permission to move forward to transcend something with spread your wings and storm warning um i'm getting the impression as well that with you you know that whole giving with one hand and then taking with the other um i feel that that energy is potentially coming from within you taurus it's like on one hand you're driving yourself towards victory and success and healing and ascension but then on the other hand it's like you, you get a bit scared and it's like you're talking yourself out to something talking yourself out of doing something it's because you're still like you're still healing this is a process right that this is something that's going to take time it doesn't happen overnight so whenever you feel this overbearing pessimism see if you can recognize it when it's happening so that you can get back on top of it again because you are actually headed towards some really good things here Taurus some really well-deserved rewards really well-deserved rewards but someone here is struggling with what I like to call imposter syndrome they feel that they don't deserve it so they start to uh, sabotage themselves and you can apply this to to uh, career or romance don't sabotage yourself Taurus you've got your dreams coming true here tell us more about nine of cups thank you yeah walking away do you see what I mean again it's uh, very back and forth back and forth seriously I need to take these nails off <laughs> I either take off these nails or I bring a pair of tweezers and leave them at the table <laughs> so I can pick up the cards right um yeah some of you don't believe that, that you're capable of being successful so where, where are these thoughts coming from Taurus and be careful as well about the things that you're telling yourself choose your battles and throat chakras like a lot of you are currently battling with yourselves and and you're sitting there saying horrible things to yourself that's technically um you're technically putting binding spells on yourself but what you know when you sit there and talk badly to yourself about yourself you're technically putting like spells on yourself because your thoughts and your words they do have power and everything's energy 
Your dreams are coming true, but you don't believe it. You don't believe it. There's just this niggle buried deep down inside. So some of you could be um, becoming really impatient with that particular combination. It's like you feel something's brewing, but you refuse to believe it until you see it, until you actually see the results. Why is darkest fears here, please, for Taurus? Thank you. Magician in the mirror. You're afraid of being manipulated again. Some of you are still healing from a more recent situation where you had to basically um, learn how to trust yourself again. But you're not quite there yet. You're not quite there. You're nearly there. Absolutely. You're nearly there. Keep going, Taurus. Okay, because the past couple of months where, where I've been doing your read, it's been really dark and, and really difficult. So those kind of experiences is going to take a couple of years for you to process. All right. It takes as long as it takes, basically. Don't don't put too much pressure on yourself. In the meanwhile, I do feel strongly, Taurus, that there is someone else that's interested in you, but you don't know whether or not you should trust it. Do you trust it or do you just walk away but before you get hurt again? And then you've got the seventh chakra under the Archangel Uriel. Okay, so the seventh chakra is um, the crown chakra. And that, that's all about uh, your understanding, enlightenment. It, it can be blocked by ego attachments. It's that higher knowing. Higher knowing. So, yeah, you have had the faith in yourself shaken to the core via the actions of someone else. This is you basically trying to rebuild. It's like you can feel that positive change is on the way, but then you're telling yourself, well, good things don't happen to me, that they've never happened to me. So why would they happen now? You know, and it's frustrating because potentially you're continuing the uh, the, the abuse that, that you're trying to heal from. And if you're trying to heal in a situation that made you sick in the first place, well, that's not going to work either because you'll get so far with your healing progress and then before you know it, you'll be pulled back into that dark void. You you can't heal in the same environment that, that uh, broke you in the first place. Some of you absolutely do need to walk away or move away from a toxic environment. Absolutely. And again, that, that could be the, the other place where I was getting that giveth with one hand and then taking with the other energy from. For, for some of you, it could well be external and internal. I do see, though, that you're going to be facing your darkest fears, breaking the chains that bind you and really taking life in both hands and no longer giving uh, permission, if you will, for others to pull you down. To pull you down. Um that background energy again, it, it, it's funny because it keeps sort of poking at me. Um, th there is absolutely somebody around you, Taurus, that has taken an interest to you. But again, it, it's like you're telling yourself, well, why would they fancy me? You know, the, the, see this low self-esteem thing, it, it, Taurus, please. Where you got this low self-esteem from, it's come from someone else. Someone else put those seeds in your head, okay? That they're thoughts that do not belong to you. It's time for you to give them back to whoever planted those thoughts in your head in the first place, okay? Um, again, beware of what is being planted.
you have not imagined someone else's interest in you you haven't imagined it it's real it's very very real but that again with all the mixed signals it's like energetically because you're not feeling great about yourself that's the energy that that you're um presenting to others like subconsciously and and they they're picking that up off of you and and they're thinking oh well, maybe taurus doesn't maybe taurus isn't interested in me in that way else for Taurus please oh lost and found in reverse honestly I, I'm smiling because it's like the, if if anything this read has been consistent all the way throughout what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things that we never even realized were lost, working through hurt feelings. Can you see that at the bottom there that I've written? Working through hurt feelings. Yeah, you're still processing. You're processing quite a lot. And it's no wonder that you're gonna be paranoid considering everything that we've seen playing out in your reads over the past couple of months. Anybody would be paranoid if they were put through even a tiny wee fraction of that. Okay. But this is, this is your time now, Taurus, right? Don't rush anything. Take as long as you need with this. You, you absolutely, you need to go through this process. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Be super mindful about the seeds that you're planting, right? In, in your mind and make sure that you root out the uh, rotten seeds that someone else had been planting in, in your head. See, once you walk away from all of this, Taurus, you're heading towards a victory. A beautiful, beautiful life is awaiting you. And potentially a beautiful new love interest here as well lost and found the pieces of yourself that you didn't even realize were lost through the, the past traumas you're going to be reclaiming those pieces of yourself it's beautiful what else for Taurus please When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and life. Yeah. There is no right or wrong in love, Taurus. Yes, at one point you were in love with an individual who didn't appreciate you, clearly. Um, that they've left you in this state of thinking that you're not good enough which quite simply isn't true it's not true you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed yeah you're coming out of that turmoil you can't understand why somebody would treat you or another person like that because you know fine well that, that you would never treat anybody that the way that they treated you you just wouldn't you couldn't you wouldn't be able to find it within yourself and that straight away makes you a much stronger individual than they will ever be and trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform having trust in your own abilities to make healthy choices in the future and this is what I see you being faced with that dilemma of this new individual who clearly has taken an interest in in you it's like you're struggling with your uh, abilities to make a healthy choice in love because that last person that they, they just destroyed your uh, the, the trust that you have in yourself 
And that's why it felt like such a, a huge betrayal. Okay, so uh, I would say that on the whole, Taurus, that was a very balanced read. It really, really was a very balanced read. Interesting as well. Okay, right, so we're going to pull some initials. And it may or may not resonate for you. Okay, it's just additional clarification for anybody who has got their sneaky suspicions about who this read might be pertaining to. Okay. So Taurus, please. Okay. Right, we need another two, please, for Taurus. Thank you. One more, please, for Taurus. Thank you. Well, I still handed in my lap. Fashionable. Um, right, okay, so you've got J for Josh or Jamie or Joan. G I U. Fashionable. Bold and Z. Hmm. With this one, Taurus. Excuse me while I take a drink. Um, I'm seeing that in spite of everything that you've been through, Taurus, you're still uh, you, you're still presenting yourself to the world in a really put together way. OK, so you're not. It's like you're not totally giving up on yourself because you're still put in a lot of efforts into how you present yourself to the world. So, you know, you're still making sure that, that you've brushed your hair or you've put your makeup on or that you've got clean clothes on. You know, it, it's like you, you haven't given up on yourself in that way. You still are very sort of conscious about how you're presenting yourself to the world. I'm getting that with this sort of fashionable and bold energy. Because I don't always see bold as in like a physical description of somebody. While it could be, yes, absolutely. I usually see that as bold as in B-O-L-D, as in someone who's being brave. They're putting their best foot forward, that they're, they're being brave and they're still presenting themselves to the world in a really well put together manner, you know. So they they haven't actually broken you. They they hurt you, yeah, like devastated you, but you're not broken. This is the thing, you're not broken. And now you're about to step into what feels like a brand new timeline. And that that's where your evidence of success that that's where you're going to see it all coming together. Like the pieces of the puzzle of your life. You're going to start to see evidence of your growth. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that is what I have for you, Taurus. If you would like to book a private reading with me that is more specific towards your exact needs, then you can reach me in in the link that's in my description box and in my pinned comment below. You won't find me anywhere else, okay? So I'm not on Facebook anymore. I'm not on Instagram. Like, literally, YouTube is the only social media that I have, all right? And my website is the only place that you can book a private reading. Okay, right. So I'm going to leave that one there. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.